Yo, what's good folks? Welcome back to my Charmander YouTube channel. We just took out a bunch of CGC cards that we got in our latest return. I don't really know any of these grades. Um, some of these I can tell are going to be pristine 10s. You can tell from like the yellow back that it's going to be a pristine 10. This is a Nostalgics card. Check out this owl. Night Owl. We do actually have a lot of Disney Lorcana cards. These are Disney Lorcana cards. We'll have to make a separate video for these. If you want to see Disney Lorcana, that'll be in a video coming out pretty soon. But this video is going to be Pokemon. Primarily just Pokemon cards. So here's our stacks of Pokemon cards. Starting off with Lucario V-Star, CGC Pristine 10. This is why we submit to CGC, guys. We like the Pristine 10 labels. I think they did a good job. It, it's just bougie. It, <laughs> it looks nice. It, it stands out to me more than a, a PSA 10, for example. But you can also get uh, this label, which isn't my favorite. The black and white, more of like a SGC. We have 8.5 for the classic Charizard. Let's see what we have here. Here's a nine. So we sent in a lot of classic Charizards to see what they would grade. Um, there should be more Charizards then. This one got a nine. I was really hoping to get some pristine tens. We submitted some of the best Charizards to CGC and it looks like they were pretty strict. PSA would be giving a lot of these Charizards a 10. We submitted a lot of Charizards to PSA and most of them came back PSA 10. We submitted our best Charizards, Japanese classic set Charizards to CGC to hopefully, maybe this is it, maybe this is it, to see if we can get, oh, this is an Arcanine. Psyched myself out there. Arcanine EX. Japanese tends to grade pretty good. So that's why we submit to CGC so we can get these pristine tens. Look at that. We'll take it, we'll take it. Love to see it. But it kind of hurts when this happens. <laughs> I don't know why that one got a six. Must be some issue on surfacing. That kind of sucks. Every submission, there are a couple five, six, sevens. Thing, I don't, I don't, what's going on here? Usually I pre-grade a lot of my cards and I make sure that they're in mint condition, that they have a good shot at getting a 10. So that is a little surprising. Here is a Gengar EX. Gengar EX, pristine 10. Here's another one. This one got a regular 10. It's funny because if it gets a regular 10, it's kind of like disappointing. And if it gets a pristine 10, you're like, yes, that's what I want. But if you get this label, it's like, uh, there's a little distaste, even though it's a 10. Gem Mint 10, you're really after the pristine 10s. That's one of the main reasons why I'm submitting to CGC. We have another one. There we go. Another one. I guess we sent in a lot of Gengars. Here's a Ghastly and a regular 10. This one got a pristine 10. Here's a little comparison for you. Obviously, this is what we're after. We're, we're trying to sell off some of these and keep these in a pristine 10. You know, it makes me wonder if I were to crack some of these out and resubmit it, how many would come back a pristine 10? And I've done that before. And sometimes they grade up and sometimes it just comes back the same exact grade. Here is a nice EV card, EVAR and a pristine 10. Another one. Very happy to see those in a pristine 10. This one got a regular 10. This one got a pristine 10. So I don't know if there's much rhythm or rhyme to it. I don't know if they're really doing solid justice with the corners, surfaces, edges, centering, or if the guy is very subjective or how the grading process goes what really makes this a 9.5 and this one a 10 um, there might be slight differences i don't know how critical they are on each card they don't do subgrades anymore generally from what i can tell 
and I've done a lot of CGC submissions. We have over 5,000 graded cards, and I think a good 4,000 of those are from CGC. From what I can tell, it's about 25%. And I don't know why that happens, but a good 25% of the cards come back in a pristine 10. With how they're grading nowadays, before you would never see a pristine 10. It was always a 9.5. They started to change their ways, and I don't know if they just want to keep the customers happy, but a good 25% come back uh, pristine 10. And I don't know if that's something true for other folks who do a lot of grading. I really like this McChamp. We'll have to take it in a Gem Mint 10. It's a, a little dissatisfying. We want the pristine 10s like that. Charmander, this one looks really nice in that gold, black and gold 10. All right, let's move on. We have Venusaur. This is what I wanted for my Charizards. Look at that. The reason why I thought the classic cards would look really good, especially these, these uh, Gen 1 starters, is because this gold and gold, that is what I'm after. That is what I like to see. We don't like to see this. We don't want to see that. But it happens. Okay, we have a regular Venusaur. Uh, we have Bulbasaur to 9. I think we sent in a couple of these. Cute artwork. Another Bulbasaur, and we have Pristine 10. So we submitted, how many, did we, is this another one? Oh, see, okay, check this out. <laughs> you know how we were talking about the 25% thing? <laughs> we sent in four Bulbasaurs, and one of them was a Pristine 10. I don't know if that's just like, they hit a certain quarter, they wanna make people happy, you know, you submit a bunch, or if they're really doing solid grading control, and this is the only one that deserves a pristine 10. I don't know how they're doing it, but these Japanese cards, they they are very minty. Like, I don't really see what separates this one from a pristine 10, but who knows? Here we have a Squirtle with the Pidgeys as well. I don't know if we submitted any Charmanders. Oh, there we go, two for two. Two for two. The 25% rule isn't always, but from my <laughs> from my experience, a good 25%. Maybe rarely you'll see 30%, sometimes 20 to 30 on average. A little more, a little less, but a good 20 to 30% usually come back a pristine 10. This one is nice to have in a pristine 10. If you guys recall, CGC was known for their blue labels. They still have blue labels on their comic books. But they meant this whole change, very controversial, controversial of changing their label. A lot of backlash in the beginning, but this label quickly grew on a lot of people. This pristine 10 is where it's at. This is the best grading label with maybe the exception of a black label. Um, if you're unfamiliar with BGS, their black labels, if you had to pick between the two, most people would say black label is way more rare, harder to get, way more value. Um, but in terms of like general slab, the cost of grading, you know, PSA costs, I wanna say 14, 15, $16. Sometimes they have their little um, sales going on. BGS is, is probably the most expensive to grade with. And again, your odds of hitting a black label, people can submit hundreds of cards and not get one black label. While PSA is a little bit more lenient, you'll see more tens, but is it a true 10? <laughs> and then you have CGC where they're a little bit in between, not quite as prestigious as the black label, but arguably higher than a PSA 10. And then you're gonna have the regular Gem Mint 10, which would be under PSA. 
So in terms of value of, of grading would go CGC, Gemint 10, PSA 10, Pristine 10, CGC, and then you have the black label. You People argue, and I would kind of agree with them that the BGS 10 is also higher than the PSA 10. Just because BGS is definitely the most strict, but I think CGC is trying to find that middle ground between PSA and BGS, black label. This is my favorite um, label. <laughs> All that to say, I like CGC. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have Iron Crown. Love the new CGC Pristine Tens. Don't care for the black and white? Love the black and gold. <laughs> so some of these that don't hit that Pristine 10, we might have to crack them out and might have to submit them to PSA. Look at this, guys. We have the three legendaries, Iron Boulder, Iron Crown, Iron Leaves, and a Pristine 10. What a beautiful set. This one with the, the big um, sun in the background. It's a synth wave type of like pink and yellows and blue. Definitely love the Iron Crown the most. Iron Leaves and an Iron Boulder. Perfect set right there. Then we have a Blaziken. This is actually Chinese. I just got a little too excited there. This is a Chinese version. The Chinese Blaziken is actually like 30, 40 bucks. Like not even half the price of an English or Japanese one. But the artwork is the same. So we'll take it. We'll take the Chinese Blaziken. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh! What in the world did we just do? What in the world? This is Chinese. Chinese Umbreon. This is probably might be the hit of the entire return. Um, we did submit some Elsas for Disney Locana, and I don't know if they have this label or not. I am praying, praying, praying that some of the Elsas I submitted also I'll come back in a pristine 10 because the Elsas are very expensive. This Moonbreon though, in terms of Pokemon cards, yes, the Japanese is more expensive. Yes, the English is also more expensive, but we have the Chinese and the Korean that are gaining popularity. People think, and people ask me, is Chinese cards good? And I say, yo, Chinese people make one third of the world's population. A third of the world, a third of the population of this world on this planet speak and read Chinese. Just because we live in America and we're kind of ignorant, we think, oh, everyone needs to be in English. But if you look at the size of Japan and you look at the size of China, majority of people on this planet, a third of the population is Chinese. So it makes sense um, to get some Chinese cards. Even if you can't read it, can you read Japanese? No, well, it's the same thing, right? The artwork is the same. I, I'm i in love with this card. This is, this is gonna stay here for a while. Okay, here we go. We have Scyther, uh, classic set Scyther, hitting a nine. Here I am like bickering about regular tens and now we get some nines. Uh, we have Pikachu, Pikachu. We actually have a, couple of these Pikachus that we're going to probably submit a couple more of these. Um, cheap card, underrated card from 151. Love the artwork. Happy to see Pikachu in a pristine 10. This one got a gem mint 10. This Charizard got a pristine 10. Oh, look at the pristines keep coming. We have Tyranitar. My bad. This is Iron Thorns. I just want to say like futuristic Tyranitar, like lime green Tyranitar. I'm a big Tyranitar fan. Iron Thorns, gotta get used to saying that. <laughs> uh, we pulled some of these cards myself. I think we submitted, yeah, at least two of them. This card is a beauty. I don't even like to sell my pristine 10s. I, I keep my 10s and we actually put them in a, one of these things. Should we try that? I don't know if this is the right green, but 
Um, I want to do a quick shout out to Greater Guard. You can use their promo code, Chermander, all in capitals. Go to their website, and for the um, promotional discount code, you just type in Chermander, all in capitals. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should give this one to the this Umbreon instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there is a little bit of dust. Let me um get this off here. Give it a little clean. There we go. Look how easy it is to put it in. You just kind of like shimmy it in there and kablam. We might actually want to use the darker green or maybe black for this, but you guys get the idea. Beautiful, beautiful card. Happy to have that one. Tyranitar. Oh, okay. This one got just a regular 10. We like, I call this guy Salamence, but his name is Roaring Moon. We have Gallade. I mean, Iron Valorant. Valent. Valiant. Just call him Gallade. We have the Tyranitar guy in the background. That's cool. Oh, look. Did you even see that Deli Bird here? Huh. That's cool. Oh, and there's a moth. Okay, continuing on, we have Suicune. You can see where they really glue right here. It kind of it kind of sticks out to me. Like I'm looking at the I'm looking at these from an angle here, and you can see where they like they add a little adhesive glue, and that's because people were complaining that their slabs sometimes like break apart here so they add a little adhesive i think but it looks kind of you, you can obviously see on the side of the slab here where where they did that so not the prettiest thing but oh well here's suicune what do we have here we have another suicune in a 10. um japanese v star set actually grades really nicely Okay, we have one more stack of cards to look through, guys. Let's get through it. Here we go. Classic set, Charizard, CGC Pristine 10. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, you'll get a chance to look at it again because we have some more Pristine 10 Charizards. We sent in a bunch of them and not all of them got a Pristine 10, but happy to see the the gold and gold. Um, I was thinking some of them would come back on a pristine 10. Okay, here we go. This one got a nine. This one got a, oh, Charmeleon got a nine. Charmander got a nine. Charmander got a nine. Told you we were gonna go quicker. 9.5. Oh, come on. Nine, ugh, oh, that hurts. We don't want nines. We want the pristine tens. 9.5. Dang, that one Charmander got a pristine 10. Here's a Blastoise and a nine. Blastoise and a nine. Uh oh. Blastoise and an eight. Yikes. Not good. This one got a regular 10. Okay. Not quite what we were after. This one got a 10. Here we go, here we go, finally. Okay, we got at least one of them. So they were able to distinguish which one was a pristine 10. Um, I don't know, to the naked eye, I can barely tell the difference between the two if these were just raw. Um, again, I don't know how strict they are, but hey, we did get a pristine 10 out of the blast choices that we sent. Um, I think we did have a Venusaur earlier on, so we can put that in a nice, beautiful set. Put some graded guards on those. Uh, here's another Blastoise. We'll have to sell some of these or crack them out and maybe get a PSA 10. I don't mind PSA 10s. I like PSA 10s, but I have to submit to CGC first to make sure that it doesn't hit a pristine 10. Here's a Squirtle. Here is a Squirtle in a pristine 10. Very nice. All right, we are almost done with this video, guys. Venusaur 8.5 and Venusaur in a 10. Now, if you guys 
enjoyed this video make sure you guys drop a like and uh, if you're not already subscribed uh, make sure you do so um i'm gonna see if i can fish out that venusaur wherever he was because i want to i want to put my venusaur with my with my oh there it is i knew he was in there somewhere all right so um let's take a look i want to kind of compare real quickly to how many pristine tens this is just for pokemon we're going to be doing disney lorcana in another video oh remember these oh yeah oh yeah so let's take a look in terms of how many pristine tens compared to regular tens we got this actually looks way more than 25 percent I was saying 25%, but this is actually closer to 50% here, guys. We finished all the cards. And look at this. Look at this. This is actually pretty good. Okay, wait. I forgot. There's some more here. So these are the... Oh, my gosh. It's so high you can't even see. This is how many... Oh, there's my Pokemon figure collection real quickly as well. Check that out in another video. This is how many regular tens we got or nines and other grades. And then we do have a good amount on top of here. Close to 50%. This is like a good 40%. We didn't even do the Lorcana. That's gonna be in another video. I'm actually happy with this. Usually it's around like here maybe. So we got actually a good amount of pristine 10s. These are all pristine 10s. That's actually quite a lot. A good like 40%. Here is a one last look at the Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard in their pristine 10. We're gonna put some greater guards on these Let's see, can we do one right now? Should we do it in orange? Let's, let's do a Charizard in orange real quick. Promo code Charmander, all in capitals. Get a little discount on your graded guards. I have to buy some more graded guards to put, to protect um, my slabs. But it really does make the cards pop. They have it in CGC, PSA, and BGS. And check that out. That looks pretty nice. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. Make sure you guys check out my other videos. Um, find me on Instagram, TikTok under Churmander. Um, I'll try to get back to anyone who has questions. Um, yeah, very happy with this return. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.